Hey everyone, so I haven't been on, on for a while, so I thought I'd uh, come along with a, a little project, so um, a, a coin I'm interested in, and I thought it's actually a pretty decent price at the moment. So the project um, I'm going to talk about today is D-Race, so dRace.com, you can have a look at the website. So D-Race is a play-to-earn NFT horse racing metaverse where you can participate in horse races, breed NFT horses with unique characteristics and build your own NFT hippodrome and make profit while doing it. So it seems like, you know, horse racing in the metaverse. Um, now, I have vaguely mentioned this project before, but I thought I'd just go over it a bit more. So horse racing to me is a massive, a massive sport. It's, it's one of the biggest sports in the world. You know, it's a little bit like Formula One kind of thing where, you know, if you're not into F1, for, for, for example, um, you don't think that many people are in. But for instance, F1 is like sort of the biggest sport, global sport in the world. And, and I think horse racing is kind of in that kind of bag. If you're not into horse racing, you don't realize how big horse racing is. OK, now the other thing about horse racing is a massive betting opportunities and stuff like that. And people love to own a bit of a horse. Okay, especially sort of, uh, I'm from the UK. So, you know, especially from the UK, <laughs> there's always this joke saying, uh, you know, I own one leg of a horse or something like that, where you've got shares in a horse. So D-Race kind of reminds me of that kind of thing where you can own your own horse. The other thing about it, because it's in the metaverse, you, you're, not, you're not killing any, horses when they jump over you know nobody's nobody's no horses are dying yeah no horses are dying for for our entertainment here so there's that as well i think it could be um a good way forward to have actual horse racing where you do uh do it all in the metaverse and, and no horse dies okay so it's uh friendly to the horses in that respect so let's have a quick i'm just having a quick so on it's available so the, the token is d-e-r-c dirk and it's available on um, gate.io. So I I own some of this. I don't own a great deal, to be honest with you, just a few hundred dollars. But I, I'm probably going to, I might well get some more today, actually, at these prices. So at the moment, it's had about five days down. So this is the daily chart. So it's about five days down. And if you look at, say, the stochastic, all right, if you just sort of put a line there. Okay, so the last sort of, we go back to kind of here. So this is whatever, uh, I don't know, about a month. So the stochastic hasn't been this low for about a month. So to me, it's only going to kind of go up from here. Yeah, that's what it's kind of telling me. This is kind of a low. OK, so to me, this seems like a, a good point to buy in. OK, it has been as high as eight dollars, I think. It's now six dollars forty three. Um, I'm trying to think when I got in it. I think I got in at about $4.5. So I'm up about 50% on it already. Uh, but I think this has got a lot of room to grow. If we have a look at the, um, <coughs> the market cap here, so D Race on CoinGecko, it's under 200 million. Okay. So that's quite, well, it's reasonable. Okay. But I think it's got a, a lot of growth in it. OK, it could easy. if it gets to a million, a billion dollars market cap, you know, it's going to go up by five. Yeah. OK, it's going to go to thirty dollars. And I could see that easily happen, happening. You know, it's only on Gate.io. What a you know, it's got a good chance of maybe going on to. Um, other exchanges like Coinbase and maybe uh, Binance. I think it's got more chance of going on, say, Binance or something like that, or even KuCoin, let's say. I think KuCoin. This is the kind of market, uh, this is the kind of coin that KuCoin would have. So it's not on KuCoin at the moment. So I think it's got some exchanges that it could go on, which could boost the price, obviously. But forget about the exchanges. I think it's a really great project. Um, and I think at the moment, it's a decent buying opportunity. Um, now let's have a look at other things about it. So let's have a quick look. So here we go. We can have a look at like the horses, You've got a 3D view. So you can like pick a horse and uh, have a look at it. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, so it hasn't actually, you know, started yet properly. Okay. Uh, I think there's going to be some sort of uh, alpha testing or something in, in in December coming up. 
Um, if you have a look at the Twitter page, it's got 152,000 followers, which is really healthy. Okay, so um, I had a quick look on the Telegram and there's a couple of Telegram. Uh, so there's a D-Race official one. She's got 48,000 members. That's okay, not too shabby, as George would say. Uh, D-Race announcements, 27,000 subscribers. And there's actually a few others. Um, huh, that's interesting. D-Race English community, 34,000. So there's a few communities here with D-Races. There's uh, nearly 10, 10 communities uh, on Telegram. So there's a, you know, there's a fair few thousand members on various things on there. So it's got a decent following, 152,000. The, the market cap's relatively lowish, okay? And I think it's a great project. I can't see this one failing, <laughs> he said. But, you know, that's my own research into it. Uh, lots of other um, uh, YouTubers have mentioned it. So you've got... Uh, I think Elio Trades has mentioned it. Uh, Becca uh, has mentioned it. Um, so you've got other YouTubers. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one. Oh, can't remember his name. Yeah, but there's there's a there's a few YouTubers who are also talking about it as well. So take a look at that project. D E R C D D Race. And I, I think it's a good project to uh, get into. But again, do your own research. Okay, that's all I've got for you today.